Hey there. Welcome to yet another episode in this series of videos. So far we have discussed and gone over multiple use cases ranging from pre-filing, filing and post-filing and post-grant stages of a patent life cycle. We know that a maintenance fee need to be paid to keep patent in force. Of course, after the patent is granted. What happens when you miss paying maintenance fee for your patent for some time? There's a definite timeline that you need to follow. And if you miss that timeline, there is an extended timeline also that is provided to you for paying the maintenance fee to keep your patent in force. There is a detailed video on this channel that you should go through to understand the reason for paying the maintenance fee and what happens when you don't pay the maintenance fee. What happens to your rights when you don't uh, pay the maintenance fee. So let's start this session with the provision of restoration and the use cases around it. To help you visualize the scenario, let's go over a use case. Your client company A, the owner of several patents inadvertently, interesting word, underline it, missed to pay the renewal fee for one year from the date of recordal, which is date of grant, 2208, for one of the patents leading to lapse of the patent. What is the course of action you will suggest to your client? Straightforward question on restoration of the patents under section 60. I have put a few uh, multiple choice questions also for you to know what kind of timelines that you are talking about. The time period for paying the renewal fee without extension as per section 142.4 after the record of patent is, so this is also important, this section 142.4 and whatever the answer that comes from here. Now ground for opposition to the restoration of patent, now an application for restoration can be opposed also. Ground of opposition to the restoration of patents can be non-working of a patent, invention is already in public domain, failure to pay the renewal fee was intentional and none of the above. So one of the ground for opposition of restoration, not opposition of patent but opposition of restoration is failure to pay the renewal fee was intentional. Right? So how do we go about decoding the question? So we need to understand the circumstances whenever a question or a scenario comes. It would be dealing with lapse of a patent. It would be dealing with I missed paying the renewal fee. What happens? So we need to understand what was the reason of lapse? Was it intentional? And now when you are making this application for restoration of the patent, how much time has lapsed? Have you delayed it for years and years or you have come to the patent office as soon as you could? we gather this information from the question as we decode the question. How do we attempt to answer it? We start our usual way by mentioning our understanding this way. As per the information disclosed, the patentee missed paying the maintenance fee for the reason, renewal fee, sorry. As soon as the patentee learned about the lapse, the application is being made to restore the application. So we are justifying the fact that it was unintentional and there is no undue delay in making this application for restoration. So of course you need to provide the section numbers. How do you do so? Therefore the client wishes to restore the application as the reasons were unintentional, undue delay as per section 60. Now because you are quoting section 60, what do you need to do? You need to provide the details of the process with regards to section 60 and 61 in terms of what is the form, what is the timeline. You need to provide a statement detailing out the reasons for the lapse and why it should be, the application should be passed. Why don't you go through the video about restoration of the patents. It's a good video on this channel. And you need to provide supporting details as always whenever we file for such cases at the patent office. As we know that an application for restoration of patent can be opposed. So you could drop that hint in your uh, response while you code your answer that the application for restoration can be opposed also as per section 61 and what could be the timelines there and what happens 
if an opposition is filed again an interesting flow chart oriented video is available on this channel for you to easily understand the process one interesting way a question can be weaved is like this where you failed to pay the renewal fee leading to the lapse of your patent what happens to your rights can you still sue somebody who is availing your invention when the patent was not in force how do you write response to that what section numbers do you use and how do you justify the action of the alleged infringers because as we know once the patent gets lapsed for whatever reasons the rights are not there protecting you and your interest in invention so this is how you handle situation scenarios for restoration of application